Hey guys, today we're going to be making the Olin Mills type of image that you see in the thumbnail. And in order to do that, we're going to be using GIMP, which is a free and open source software. Some of the prerequisites that you might need are two images. One is going to look something like this, a little head on, and then maybe another one that looks something like this, sideways, maybe kind of a goofy look like. So in order to take those you might need you might need a friend to help you take those um if you got those images then you're already ready so let's get started the first thing that we're going to want to do is we're going to find the image that we're going to want to work on and we're going to drag that into gimp the image that i'm working on is located in my downloads folder so we're going to go ahead and go to our downloads folder and drag and drop the image right into GIMP now with the image loaded into GIMP what we're gonna do is we're gonna hit, click the image right here click the layer and duplicate the layer now we've got two and we're gonna go ahead and, and hit colors saturation and we're going to desaturate the whole thing all the way down. That's going to turn it black and white. Hit OK. The next thing we're going to want to do is we're going to go to colors and we're going to hit curves. Click the line and bring it all the way down right here towards the middle roughly. And then click the line right around here and bring it all the way up. That's going to make your image look like this, kind of just like a silhouette. And then we're going to hit colors and we're going to hit invert. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to click the first layer and then we're going to add a layer mask right here. Click add. Cl click back into our silhouette layer. We're going to go ahead and copy visible. Go back to our background layer right here, the one that we're going to make transparent, and click edit and paste in place. Click the green anchor. Next, we're going to go ahead and use the paint tool to paint a white white wherever we need um, we need the uh, image to show up so as you can see right here on my face it was transparent where we're gonna paint it white and it's gonna bring back the face from being transparent so go ahead and do that and then after that we're gonna go ahead and erase any of the background that might have shown up and we're going to do that by changing the paint color to black so we'll change it right here to black and we'll, we'll just paint the background and it disappears like such Okay, that's how we make our image transparent. N now that we did that for the first one, we're going to just repeat the same thing for our second image. Actually, what we're going to do is we're going to get rid of this top silhouette layer. We're going to right click this and we're going to go ahead and select merge visible layers. Click merge and it just creates one one layer where the the and the layer mask is already in the image. So now we're going to go ahead and click new advanced options transparency okay and this is where we're going to work on our second image. So I'll go ahead and speed this up so you don't have to see it.
Now we're going to go ahead and we're going to create a new image, new, and then select transparency right here. Click OK. And we're going to bring both our first image and our second image into this one. And we're going to also put a, ba a black background. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and go to the first image that we worked on. And that can be found up here on the top left. Just go ahead and click on that. And then click this rectangle selection tool. We're going to make a selection over the image. And then we're going to go ahead and go to edit. Copy. And then we're going to go ahead and go to our third image. And then hit paste. Select our move tool. Move this around to roughly where you want it. I'm going to select, I'm just going to go ahead and put it right about here. After that's done, we're going to go ahead and click the green anchor at the bottom right. And then let's go ahead and make two more layers. One's going to be for the other image and the other and the third one is going to be for the background right here. So within the top layer, we're going to go ahead and go back to our second image, get the rectangle selection tool just like we just did, copy, and go back to our third image, and in the top layer, paste. You select the move tool, and let's go ahead and move this head right the, around here, roughly. So hit the green anchor at the bottom right again. So you'll see the top layer has got the head, the second layer has got the body, and the third layer is currently blank. So what next thing we're going to want to do is we're going to fill the, the third layer with a solid black color for our background. So by selecting the rectangle selection tool, draw a rectangle over the background. And then in edit, go down to fill with foreground color, and that fills it with the black color. Now we're going to go ahead and go all the way to our top layer, find our paint tool, and then we're going to change the brush. We're, then we're going to change the opacity all the way down to roughly 50%. That looks, good. That looks pretty good. Get the paint tool again, and then we're going to change the brush from being this hard one right here to the soft one. Make sure the size is pretty good. And we just start drawing over it like that. And see with this tool, it's got the fuzzy fuzzy borders, not, not hard like the other one. And we just draw just like that. Go ahead and select move to get out of there. And right there, this just shows you kind of like what the layer looks like. And turn them all on and that's our final image.